Hi, I'm Roy Southby from DIYTorianTools.com and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to lay a floor in a pool using the ultra spreader. Now if there's any pool tilers out there you're going to want to buy one of these. I'll show you. Put it down there. I've got it to, to the size of a sheet of tile and the glue, as you'll see, is in pourable situations like that. I can just pour some in, right over to it, make sure the corners are filled, and then just drag it And as I'm laying these, I usually rub my hand over them that way and I can hear the from sticking up on them. And uh, not a lot of pressure I give, but I'll show you. You can have a look at see the coverage that we would get. Can you see that? Pretty good there. There's no need to beat, beat them to death. the tiles like normal. So the system I use is we start in the middle and we flick a chalk line from one tile up to the tile at the top and then uh, we run rows at a time. Just a single row, you don't need to lay two or three at a time, you'd have to reach over Play a single row at a time and just go up and down the pool until you get to, like over there you'll see, that's as close as I'm laying to the cove. Because of the angle of the cove, we won't be able to use the spreader because it requires a flat surface. And from there on, I will place out dry tiles onto the wall from the floor and mark the wall, cut the tiles off, throw them away and then I'll be able to pick bit full tiles from there, but uh, I have to use a nice trail for that. Anyway, I'll keep going. And you see how easy it is. It's, uh, Obviously, as you can see here, I'll go back here. You don't have to pour it, you can still pour it. But if you want to, see, you could just uh, scoop it out. Just like that. And then you Okay, now as you'll notice, there's no excess glue to clean up. I have got a little bit there which I you know, made a bit of extra mess there only because there was maybe a bit too much glue spread there. But uh, apart from that, that's exactly how you do it. And we just keep going row after row. Okay, now it's the next day. And as I said, we routed the floor. 
and uh, now I'm going to mark and cut the walls. This is how we finish off. And uh, so I've established, you see, first of all, that uh, I've come down on the walls further than what we need to be because that's going to get cut off now to, in a nice straight line to suit tiles. What I've done, I've established that it's going to be a sheet and a strip of three to, uh, to go in here. So if I lay that down like that, I can then mark the wall there like so. I use two lots, makes it easier for marking. See that, then I'll transfer these to here. And do it again. Okay, now I'll do this all the way along the wall and uh, once I've done that, I'll start cutting. Okay, now I'm ready to cut the wall. Always wear glasses when you're cutting. You don't want to take any chances with your eyes. And, uh, Okay, as you can see, I've cut the walls and uh, I've gone right through. A lot of dust. <laughs> that one there is. Now, what I've got to do now is remove the bottom tiles, the ones underneath the cut, and uh, put them in with full tiles. Uh, obviously it's a lot of mess and dust, we'll clean this all up, and uh, while I'm doing this, I just want to mention to you that what we do is, I like to have the wall ground before we mark and cut, because uh, it gives a much, much better job, you get a much more even line, and uh, like I say yesterday, I did the floor. While I was tiling the floor, my upside Harry was grouting all the walls. So, uh, anyway, okay, in case anybody is interested, the glues we've been using, Kingbit Super, we use for the walls. Now, we put an additive of uh, one litre of Chemcrete in with the Kingbit Super just to make sure it's so special. On the floor, we've used the Ardex Quick Bond because it's a very quick setting glue. Therefore, we can lay the floor and grouse it the same day. In case it was to rain, we've got no more problems. And the grout we've used today is the uh, Misty Grey Ardex again. Okay, so there's our products. Okay, now. I've given it a sweep up, picked up all the pieces. Now, what I do, I just give it a blow, just to make sure there is no dust on the floor, because glue doesn't speak to dust very well. <laughs> I said before.
only because of the, the curve. So we have to use our notch file. through. Okay, there you have it. We finished. Children's graphic. And um, don't forget, if you need to buy one, and you might like one, come to diytilingtools.com. Thank you for watching.